actually had an aging wide area network and our suppliers wasn't showing the flexibility that we needed. So we actually rolled out your product to 107 sites. We put in a brand new WAN, 256 circuits in just 238 days. We actually even had our service desk people go out and install our um, itch devices. It's once you get the planning right and you have the pilots done, it's just like a sausage machine. <laughs> so what we had is we had a really old legacy network. It wasn't really delivering uh, the necessary technology to the police officers as quickly as it should have. It was very slow and unreliable. To solve that problem, what we looked at was we looked at how to get SD WAN in, which gave us visibility of our network, but also enabled our police officers to then move in and to use the, the systems they needed to in a more efficient way. Um, we looked at the edge devices in vehicles uh, and how that would reduce uh, and enable our police officers to move into operational spaces a lot quicker. Yes, uh, I did a lot of work with J Joint Transport Services mm -hmm. and I saw the edge devices in our little micro sites and I said, why can't we put one of those into a police car? And it was, and that's how it's all come about. Yeah. Simply putting um, connectivity in the back of a police vehicle um, became an idea for so much more. Um, so what I saw in there was um, lots of um, proprietary hardware, uh, lots of discrete solutions, and lots of individual connectivity solutions for those, um, for those um, applications. So let me take you through the in-car technology. What we have here is a vehicle spec server. It's providing um, connectivity in the form of multiple modems that we aggregate with VMware's SD-WAN technology. That allows us to provide connectivity to the whole of the vehicle, all the applications, and also Wi-Fi that supports officers with roaming body cameras. Um, what this appliance also allows us to do with Edge Compute Stack is provide um, virtualization of applications so that we can take out of the vehicle lots of physical appliances and host and update multiple applications and then orchestrate and secure them via the cloud. And enable our police forces and officers to be more efficient in what they're doing. So keep the policing on the roads with a mobile office, that enables them to send information back to our HQ and command centers, but also enable them to do the jobs while they've got a bit of slack time driving in the vehicle. It's really, for example, if the police call out to arrest somebody, they have to come back to the site, fills out loads of paperwork, or they might have an area that the reception's poor. So by having this thing as a hotspot and also as secure based on the SD-WAN, it will give them the ability to do their paperwork in a police car. It give make the car more visible for the police. And um, it will allow body-worn video footage to be uploaded while in the car yep. or AMPR information from the car. It's right. just brilliant. What just used to be a trunk full of equipment, yeah. of equipment, we've been able to shrink that down and bring it into just one piece of hardware that you put in the trunk and that can run a variety of applications. So it's, what used to be done in hardware now being done in software that makes everyone's lives easier. So what we have here are the onboard applications um, provided by a partner Genoptics. We have license plate recognition being provided by the cameras that are mounted across the car. What these do is read the license plates and using the application running on Edge Compute Stack in the trunk of the car, um, identify if they're on a watch list. It then connects up into the cloud using VMware's SD-WAN to get supplementary information from their back office. Edge will provide a secure Wi-Fi access point within the vehicle. This allows police officers to connect their devices securely to securely to the police force network, um, including tablet devices, enabling them to access their applications in the right place at the right time, placing the tools in the hands of the police officer. The other aspect is that their digital um, cameras, body one cameras, um, they store data on the actual device. So when they return back to the vehicle, that data can now be transferred securely to the cloud service rather than the police officer having to return back to base and place it in a docking station. I'm so pleased that you brought this use case to us, Steve. I can't think of a better way that we can take technology and improve the lives of these people. And you know, the police officers, they're out there saving lives. And the, the use case you brought us, the technology that we've provided, if it's helping those folks do their jobs better, I can't think of a better use case.